Attention all visitors. Visiting hours will be over in five minutes. I wish I could tell you why it all happened. How, sure. But why? That's what would be important to know. Me? I wasn't so different from other girls. I liked a good time. <laughs> Who doesn't? Sometimes I was restless. Bored. Out of sorts. Felt sorry for myself. I had this kind of dumb job where I couldn't make enough to be out on my own. So I still had to live with my folks. With mom and dad always telling me what I could and couldn't do. This is the way it's going to be. I don't want to hear another word about it. I'm telling you this for your own good. Mom was having sort of these nervous spells and... I don't know. Each other. Want a beer? She was finding fault with me half the time. Made me sort of nervous, too. Sometimes, I'd sneak some of her tranquilizers. You know, kind of help you ride things out. Dad always seemed to have a lot on his mind. Sort of remote, but sometimes annoyed, especially at me. Is that all you're having for breakfast? Mm-hmm. Chris was in that real fresh stage. A real pain. Yeah, stop it! No! Mom, of course, always thought he was perfect. I'll have uh, one coffee table and... Everything was all sort of blah. Just one stupid day after another. It sounds silly now, but I kind of thought life was passing me by. Uh, you got anything planned for tonight? Uh, not after I get off work. Six months and three days ago, just ten days before Christmas, Wayne stopped by and asked me to go to a party at Fred and Mary Ellen's place. I guess I can come by and pick you up at 8.30, right? Okay, sure. Good idea? Yeah. I always felt kind of excited when I was with Wayne. I never knew kind of what he'd do next. I'm not so crazy about that boy. Parties with Wayne were fun. Someone always had some grass, and there was always plenty of beer. Sometimes wine. Nothing drastic, you know. Just something different from the real drag parties Mom and Dad wanted me to go to. After going out with Wayne, I wouldn't feel so restless for a while. I mean, I sort of feel like I was where the action was. By the time we got to Fred and Mary Ellen's the party was in full swing. Everybody was friendly and feeling real good. We had some drinks. When you're having a good time, the drinks slip down easy. Had any of this you did so well. <laughs> <laughs> it's my specialty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now watch very carefully. Okay. Spill exactly watch how to be do careful it. Now. Okay, keep it. Well, anything, anything we lose will be right on the table. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You don't want to lose any of this good stuff. Hawaiian? Right. Yo, no, it's not Hawaiian. What are you talking about, Hawaiian? Now you're looking at Okay. I was feeling kind of, you know, free, not worrying about a thing. I don't know what to do, man. Hey, where'd you get all those reds? Oh, oh, oh. One, one's plenty, one's plenty. <laughs> Some of the kids were popping reds. I'd never done that, but I always heard that if you wanted a real high, that was the way to go. I thought it would be fun to try. I mean, why not? It sounded exciting. And I was always gung-ho for anything exciting. Just a few little old pills. Down with wine and away we fly. Gorge down here. For a while I felt real spacey. Really sort of super. After a while I began to feel strange. Dopey. Really sort of out of it. Wait, here. You all right? Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah that's pill she Come on, I'm going to take you to the bedroom, okay? Wayne kind of shook me. I got dopey. Couldn't keep my eyes open. I lay down on the bed, and they forgot about me for a while. Finally, Wayne tried to rouse me. Peggy, you all right? She's not moving. Peggy? Oh, my God, she stopped breathing! What do you mean? Somebody. What do you mean? What's wrong with her? She's... Look, look, I don't know what, what to do. Can she hear you? Uh, no, Peggy? She she's not moving Peggy. at all. Peggy, Peggy, can you hear me? You know what to do? I don't know what to do. Come on, get out of the way. Well, you don't even know what's the matter with her. What's wrong? God, I don't think she's breathing. Call somebody. Someone tried to give me mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. The ambulance people came. Some of the kids split. Oh, got She's not breathing, Rob. Let's get her on the floor. Wayne was scared to death, but he stayed. What do you got, Mike? I don't know. She's not breathing right now, Carl. Get the bag out. Try a hyperventilator, Rob. Yeah, a little bit faster. She's been a while without any oxygen. Hey, what's good? Looks like an OD, Know what you took? We gotta get some OD. No, I don't know yet. We just got here. It's a little low right now, Carl. Okay, Ben, you wanna see if you can find out what uh, she might have taken? Still got no spontaneous sure. respiration. Yeah. Does anybody know what her name is? Let us know when you find out. No, we don't have the name yet. Not too good. We're getting some on. Anybody know what her name is out there? Yeah, her name's Peggy Watson. How old is she? She's 18. You know where she lives at? Yes, sir. She okay, lives Rob, hyperventilator, and then when you're set, we'll go ahead and intubate her. Do you have any idea what she took? Ready? Uh, I saw some red pills or something. Red pills? Yeah. Do you have any of them around still? If somebody could please find one of them. Okay, looks good. We got the telephone here, Carl. Let's get the bag. Take a look at it. Okay. Yeah, take a look at that. See. See the barber tall, huh? Yeah, yeah pretty potent stuff. Yeah, she's really sure she's taking about this. Okay, give me a step. No, I wouldn't doubt it. Okay, syringe. How much do you have to drink? About four drinks for what they say. They rushed me to the hospital. Sirens wailing in the night. 
Looks like an OD, Donna. Nothing spontaneous on this respiration. Put two in over here. Yeah. Okay. One, Let's two, get over. three. Okay, go. go. Any okay. idea specifically what she's taking? Well, alcohol and looks like barbiturates, too. Okay. Let's get this suction set up. I think she might aspirate some. How long ago was the ingestion? About a half an hour ago, best we can figure. Okay. Let's, let's do a couple of rides and you all too. Suck your chest out here. Okay. All right, good. Sounds Black a little gas. better. Pressure wasn't doing too good on the way in. A little low. Okay. Someone give me a blood pressure cuff. Did she ever vomit while she was out there? Did you know of? None that we saw. There was no problem with it, really. She started to sound a little wet. Okay. Let's see if we can't get her going here with ventilation. How old is she? 16? Uh, uh, 18, I believe it is. 18. How about her pupils? Have been reactive all along? Non reactive. Okay. Can you hand me a strip, please? It's going to look good. There you go. Thank you. How's her EKG? I think she might have had a too bad. Uh, let's put 40 a case My parents back. arrived at the hospital. They hovered and waited while the doctors worked over me. Oh, mother. Dad. Forgive me. I was crazy. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. I'll be all right. I'll never do anything like this again. I've learned my lesson. I'll be all right. I will, won't I? Mother! Help me! No one can help me. Get well, I mean. The days go by. The weeks. The months. And I'm helpless. They feed me with a tube up my nose. They catheterize me so I can urinate. They bathe me, brush my hair. And I lie here with a hopelessly damaged brain. No good to myself, no good to anyone else. It isn't fair. I'm not a bad person. I never wanted to hurt anyone. I only wanted to have a little fun. A few drinks and a few crazy pills. And now this. Mother comes every day. She won't give up hope. She prays by my bedside. Mother. Why did I never know how much you loved me? Dad's face has grown accusing. What have you done to us, he seems to be asking me. You ruined your life. Dragged mother and me to the brink of despair. Plunged us neck deep in debt. What have you done? You think they get cold? You were such a dear little girl. So loving, so affectionate. What happened along the way? Sometimes, Chris comes. He doesn't want to look at me, but he can't help staring. Oh, Chris, don't hate me so. I know everything's miserable for you at home now. Can you ever forgive me, Chris? Why don't you die? Wayne comes now and then. He feels so guilty. Did he ever care for me? Peggy, listen. You gotta know this. The drug scene, you know? I've knocked it off, Peggy. Totally. 
You want to hear something crazy? I'm into nature foods and jogging. Wayne, do you remember that once I was pretty? They say I've been here six months and three days. And you know what? Today's my birthday. I'm 19. Happy birthday, Peggy. And there's Mom with the birthday cake. She remembers how much I always loved a birthday cake. Happy birthday, dear Peggy. Happy birthday to you. Mother. Mother, it's all such a rotten joke. Do I go on like this forever? Not dead. Not alive. Oh, Mother. Why did this have to happen to me? I never meant to do any harm. Really, I didn't. What did I ever do to deserve such a punishment?